Alrighty, y'all. I know it's been a minute. A minute and a half and some, and some weeks. Your girl just been, you know, handling her business. Has some health issues. Still have some health issues. But, you know, God is good. It's all good. Alright? Y'all, your girl's been going through the change. change if you don't know it i'm 52 years old about to be 53 next year mid next year beginning next year but um i already knew i was going pre-menopause perimenopause what have you and i was like okay okay cool blood pressure shooting up Ooh, stress level was up here up here, but it's calm down. Got new meds and all that, some good jive and nasty stuff. And all of a sudden, the flashes. Yes. My 50 fabulous, 50 plus fabulous women, seasoned women, beautiful, gorgeous, intelligent, resilient women. You know what I'm talking about. It used to hit me at night. Then I wake up, I'm butt naked. But then it started, I started noticing last month. We were mid-September. This month, nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2.30ish while I'm working. I'm just, ooh. But one thing, I was like, okay, I've done my little research and I've talked to my doctor about it. You know, I ain't got no mood swings, you know. I'm calm, cool, I ain't popped off on nobody, okay? I ain't choked nobody. You see, I'm not quick, quick, I'm not locked up, you know what I'm saying? But I was worried, because I've been hearing stories, you know. I've been hearing stories. I have some friends, some sister, you know, my, yeah, my sister, you know, the elders from the church, the congregation, now, thank you, Jesus. And they were telling me stories. I haven't been hearing the stories. You know what I'm saying? And they said the first thing, the flashes, the mood swings, their husbands and boyfriends and family and kids, the dogs. They were scared. You know, they didn't know what to do. They had to do anything, right? So they said they all had the thing, but common almost a common denominator you know 70 70 30 common denominator common denominator common denominator their sex drive went from high to the low lows to the low low to the bottom of the barrel low and that's what i was worried i was like okay hearing all this in my 40s black late 30s and i was like oh uh -uh. <laughs> The devil is a lie. <laughs> but the Lord was like, we ain't going to do that to my child. We're not going to do that to her. And I know Sergeant Major was probably like, uh, you better not. <laughs> my sex drive is like, My Texans, my San Antonians, if y'all feel like a shake and rattle, earthquake. I'm from Cali, so I'm used to earthquakes. But in Texas, y'all get an earthquake, a rattle, a shake in the room. You're welcome. So, <laughs> that's basically it. You know, the kids are good. You know, my son's back in school. One kid left to go through high school. Work is work is work <laughs> we getting crazy over there my man my man is good all the time he's good he's good he's good army y'all need to hurry up and let my man know you know when he's gonna be retired sign them papers so we you know we can get this retirement going he just hit 27 years 
August 24th, not 26th. That's my 27 years active duty. Go Army. Go Sergeant Major. Go Army. Yeah, okay. And then, you know, he's good. His, you know, his family, you know, his family's good and everything. Then, of course, you know, my truck went down. Alternator went out. Went to the doctor's. Came home. Coming home, stopped get some gas, and the alternator went off. I'm thinking my battery was dead, but the alternator drained the battery. So I had to get towed, you know, brought here. So, but it's okay. I work from home. We've been doing a lot of, you know, we got the part. We just got to find a reasonable mechanic that can, you know, uh, the, 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 they ain't going to try to arm and a leg. So my man had on that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got things to do. Holidays are coming around. Birthdays and all this type of stuff is coming around. And uh, we got to live comfortably. You know what I'm saying? We got to do what we got to do. Make it do. So, but other than that, I'm not even stressed out there. My vehicle is parked in my parking slot. My parking spot on my, my driveway. And I'm just like, I'm not stressing over that. I have no control over that. I'm not a mechanic. Me and my man, we work. He's two and a half hours away at the base. And I'm just like, I'm cool. People are like, oh my God. The old me? I'll be like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Well, this, this, this. I'm like, well, I put it to the Lord, gave it to him, and I'm like, I'm cool. Lights on, water's on, cables on, phones on. Work, I still have a job. We have food, we have a bed. You know, we got, I got, I got my babies. Makeup. I'm good. I'm Gucci. So now, with that all being said, your girl's back. We get back in the swing. We haven't seen. I've lost some weight. That medicine. I went from taking two pills a day. That I've been doing for years, like a decade. To now, I'm taking like. Five in the morning and then I gotta take two at night and if I get a migraine I gotta take that one to cover up to you know my backup to my uh, Mgalati pen that was like the epi pen y'all know but that max salt have me high as a kite then I crash I'm asleep for hours hours and it's not worth for me it's not work for me. So, I don't know if it's the medicine. I have been working out. So I'm going to do a challenge for the Breast Cancer Association next month. 1,500 squats for the month of October for 31 days. So, that's 50 squats a day. So, I'll get my mind, my body, my soul, my spirits unchecked. That's my self-care. So, hope everyone's doing good. I've been rambling on for about a good seven minutes. Let's go ahead and let's get into this video. Alrighty. Alright. As y'all know, the first day of fall was Wednesday, Thursday. So, I was like, what a good way to come back and um, fall. Open up fall 2022 so this is going to be a review a comparison and a fall look so y'all know me it's going to be lengthy anywho i had some orders that came in today i'm missing a bag pause it was right here so I had a purchase yesterday. Me and my girl, my bestie, we were talking for hours yesterday. Computer system was down at work, so I was just, you know, we were just chatting it up. We were talking about that McGrath, Pat McGrath, the new collection, and she was giving me her theory. I was giving my theory about, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the cost. But then, like I told her at the beginning of this week or last week, I said, watch. Everybody gonna want that palette. It's a beautiful palette. But everybody and their mama is gonna be having a sale. And sure enough, when that launch 
hit and even prior to that launch yesterday okay today's the 24th it launched yesterday shout out to my son it lost on my son's birthday happy birthday joshua he turned 26 so um everybody in their mom sephora alta alta's site app site they had a huge fall autumn whatever event sale all type of make uh makeup 30 40 50 percent now buy two get one free all brands all brands their site crash because i was like i call customer service i was like uh did y'all crash or something what done happened so they were like there the sale just it crashed so the Sephora, they, you know, they're getting ready, I guess the family and friends sale, plus the regular Sephora sale is coming up. Everybody, my phone was going off. ABH, ColourPop, Fenty, Fenty Beauty and Skin, Fenty and Savage, Macy's, Morstones. These are the apps in those that I have that I uh, subscribe to for text text alerts. And I was just like, dang. So we were talking about that. And I was like, I told you. I told you. So we were going back and forth. And I'm like, I saw the swatches. And I'm like, the, the palette is pretty. But I was like, ah. Uh -uh. I saw the swatches. And I was like, what can I do with that? Mm, I don't know. So then we got on to, she had ordered uh, House Labs. And I was like, I haven't seen a few reviews. So we were on there. We were on there for almost an hour trying to... She had ordered hers, but she wasn't sure if her shade was going to be the right shade. So I was like, well, let's jump on me. Let's see what shade. So we did the little shade finder on Sephora. And it was saying 425. Then when I looked at it, because I had based it off of my ABH, my Makeup Forever, and my um, Too Faced. And it kept on saying 425. But when I looked and I saw, it was just like, that was just too dark. That was too dark. And then I was like, oh. So then, you know, on YouTube, you have a shade, a twin shade YouTuber that you match. Or you maybe a little bit off, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. But y'all have the same category for a foundation. So there's a couple of them. Three, no, it's three, four of them. We were almost the same shades in Fenty, MAC, Too Faced, um, even down to, um, what is it, um, Sephora. So I was like, okay, okay. And the ones, it's like two of them haven't purchased or haven't got the house labs. So there was this one and we were watching it. She was watching on her phone and I was watching on mine. And there was this one and she was like, we were, she's just a little bit warmer than me. Just a little. So I, I was like, okay, look, I'm gonna get this one. And if it doesn't work, you know, I just take it back and probably go get the 425. So I did purchase and I had it to you know, same day delivery yesterday. And I got the house lab by Lady Gaga, the Triclon Skin Tech Foundation. It's 30 mils and I got 440. Because that's what uh, my girl, uh, Miss Kuto Blaze, hope I didn't, baby girl, I hope I did not put you your name. You know, she's a big, she's a big YouTuber. In my opinion, she is. And she follows me on my channel. And thank you so much, baby. And so she has this shade. She had this shade and she had 470. And so this one is a medium deep cool with golden olive tone. 425 was a medium deep neutral with a neutral soft peach undertone. Now, most of my makeup is either peach undertone uh, uh, golden, yellow-ish in that category. That because it's like medium, but I'm medium deep, or me or tan deep, too deep. 
or what have you. That's my skin tone. Because in the summer, I still have a summer tan from this Texas heat. And it's starting to come down. So I can go either way. I can go up. I can go down. I can go. But sometimes neutral just gives me that. Mm, it don't look right. It gives me, to me, depending on what it is. No. Neutral can give me an ash look. So anyway, I got this. And it states that a clean, cut-edge, long-wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. Infused with 20-plus skincare ingredients, buildable, medium coverage, so it's luminous, second skin finish, ultra-fluid, weightless formula. So, I did test it out when I, mean, I got it yesterday. And this baby is heavy, though. This is what she looks like. It's glass. She's got some weight. And then here's the top. Okay. And then House of Lab. So I'm going to shake it up. Now, put this right here. Like I said, I did test it out. Just to make sure that this shade was the right shade because the back it was saying 425 and I got 440 which is 425 is the next shade below this one so it's like 425 and then 440 is the next shade up and then 460 is the next shade up from there so it just goes up and she has 51 shades. I love me some Lady Gaga. I love her music. So, I'm just going to shake it up. It has a top. And it has a little bump here. So, it secures the top. It has a pump. As you see, I did pump it. So, but I'm gonna have, I had a theory about this. When I put swatched it. This is kind of... You'll see. I'm going to show you. All right. So I'm going to. Um, I got my sponges here. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. The back of my hand. I'm going to use my finger first. Okay. So I'm going to put. House of Labs. Right here. I've got my mirror right here. I'm going to put it right here. Now, it looks dark on here, but in my mirror, which is right below the camera, it matches. So, you see, on here I could tell where I put it, but right here in the mirror, I could kind of see where I put it, but it looks okay, right? Where my wipes? So, my theory was, when I did it yesterday, it was giving me Fenty's 385, which is what I wear. I did a Instagram look for the beginning of the NFL season a couple of weeks ago for um, the Raiders, and I used 390. It was a little bit too dark, but it... I had to know more concealer, brighter concealer to even it up. So I'm shaking at Fenty's 385. And this is what I saw yesterday. As you see, this is my baby. Sorry for the mess. It kind of looks like the same. And y'all know Fenty oxidizes, right? So this is 385. And see in my mirror, it looks a little bit lighter than the 440 house. So now I was like, this is like a could be like a dupe for, for me. But it's still Fenty is pulling off um more golden. Okay, but then I was like, here's 390 Fenty. So, like I said, this came off a little darker on me 
couple of weeks ago. So let's see. So we have 385 and here goes three. It's still a little orangey, but look at it. To me, I've got three good skin color, skin matches. No, 385, 390 Fenty. Now 390 Fenty and 440 House is looking pretty close. So that's my theory on my skin complexion, on my foundation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe my face and we're gonna get into this okay. video. I went in the bathroom because my lighting there is different there and it looks real, real good. It does say you can use uh, boop, 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 blend onto the clean skin with the brush or fingertips. I'm using a sponge and it's giving me I know I'm not flashing, <laughs> but it's giving me a little a glow, but it's skin tight. Like if I just had my, you know, my moisturizer and stuff, but it looks good in here. Let's see if I pull back. You see? Let's see. It looks good. Yeah, I'm using my work chair. They gave me an work chair ergonomic chair so i can but this is looking good all right so far it's it is buildable it's buildable all right let's get on with the show i'm liking it use it for an every day you want to run to the store uh teachers meeting, work, or chilling in the mall, going to the movies, you don't wanna just get all glammed up. But that looks good though. I had a little spot here from where I got bit by a mosquito last month and like a little scab part. It's like a little black, you can't even see it. Okay, house. She's a brick. Let me get this off. I don't normally use the back of my hand. So, even though in my eye, it's, uh, you know, your girl shopping. When am I not shopping? So, I picked up, had delivered since my truck went down. I got the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Foundation. I mean, concealer. Full coverage, multi-use concealer. Natural finish. So, I feel like, okay, if I'm getting this natural look, I might as well get a natural conceal. So I got the shade 34.5 in. I'm 34. Wait, am I? I'm 35 in in the foundation. And this is the Dofer. I like Dofers like this. So I'm just gonna put this on. Perfect color. And it glides on like nobody business. I personally views about this and I was like, I'm gonna try it. I love, I've been getting into a lot of um, Sephora's, uh, Sephora collections makeup products. And I thought that's gonna be real pretty. And, um, I'm loving it. I love that line. I was always scared of it because, you know, like, you know, like Walmart's brand, Target's brand stuff. But then when I found out, they're like, uh, like, what's that high-end brand? Louis Vuitton, I think it's the maker or something like that. Some high-end company. And that's who, I guess, they get their products from, from Sephora Collection. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Woo! 
Y'all, I got about four, five fans somewhere. I got like one, one, two, three fans here. I got the hand fans. I need to talk to my girl, Brown Bella. Shannon, she has a channel, Brown Bella. And she be having some big, fluffy ones. I don't know, like, uh, sis, where you get the fans from? So I'm gonna use the same sponge. And I'm just going to blend this out. I'm using the tip. I'm not using the bottom. I'm using the tip. So. Oh, that looks good. And that looks real good. Well, I got a wet sponge, so it shouldn't dry down. Make it hard for me to move it. That looks good, though. Hmm. That looks real. Get up under here. Here and get over here, get here. That looks good. Oh, I did it again. I'm gonna get up under that eye. All right, House and Fancy Magics, they blend perfectly. See this was a be oh look get up under here I still got a glow alright so now I'm going to set with my Lori Mercier translucent under the eyes where I put the concealer at my Sasha Sonia Cashew sponge and it's wet and I'm just gonna set where I put the concealer woohoo not on my shorts now I'm wearing shorts <laughs> I'll be snitching to the Sasha Major I got on shorts doing this video snitches get stitches <laughs> I mean, he's seen me in shorts, but I lost some weight, so we ain't gonna have them problems. That looks perfect. All right, let me get this chin. Dang, that's a perfect, this looks good. shorts but I'm trying to this is looking good y'all yo this looks good hold on let me do a little reverse contour shoot <laughs> mm -hmm. See, I'm still getting alerts of sales. Let me just do a little reverse, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ew. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and just break it on down, break it on down. This looks flawless. Oh my God. I am loving this. Conceive All right, let's get let's get the show. Let's get this going. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. It's looking good. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Okay. I told y'all I was doing some shopping, so I got the Juvia's Place. I hit that sale, Juvia's sale, and Sephora had it on sale, and I racked up some points. So this is the uh, Juvia's Place bron bronzed bronze dark. I have the tan 
office. This is what it looks like. See how I can use it. Contour brush. See, I like contours, bronzers with that red warm undertone. So this is one reason why I'm glad I got it. Somewhere, hold on, I gotta find my brush to chisel. Oh, here it is. Contour my nose. Let me take it up here to my brow and snatch this nose. Okay, let's just take it in a little bit and snatch. I'm using this shade right here. They have the shade names on here. So I'm going to go in. Hold up. I got to get some hair. Okay. And so I'm going to say big. Go put my eyebrow. Take it down. Carve out that nose. get one side but uh I struggle with the other this side mainly get here it's a trick I saw make um uh, YouTube reviews make my own button nose maybe like this I'm on my brush I can probably get it even alrighty get it up in here snatched snatch the nose this is it. Snatch the nose. There we go. Now, let me just blend it out. Take it to the eyes. And you know, you can blend it out because I'm only using some colors that's the same color on my eyes. Uh, yeah, just for that. All right, we done with that. Let's get on with this eyes. All right, so you know I always do my blush after, so I see what it, what, I, what I'm going for. So it's being fall. Let's get into it. All right, I'm bringing out the old, the new one of Morphe. Well, it came out in the summer, right before the summer, and an oldie but goodie. This is, oh boy, 25D. Let me show you what she looks like. This is an all matte palette, so I went way back. This is what she looks like. Now tell me that is not no fall colors. And it's all matte. Then I broke out the Gilded Desert 35U. So I'm going to be dipping in both of these. I'm going to be dipping in both. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Not only did I just set my eyes, I went ahead because I need to set my face. So I went ahead and I still loving this Makeup Revolution, Planet Revolution Clean 
Evolution Beauty Cream Blush uh, Fresh Raspberry. I went a little bit of hand, so I had to tone it down. But now I'm about to set my whole face. Okay. Set my whole face. Oh, I need to hurry up. I feel the flashes. I feel the flashes. I feel them coming. It's got to be pretty close. 3 o'clock, 3.30. That's when they hit me. All right, I'm just going to set. I had a fix it on my contour. All right. Set it. I'll go back in when I'm done with my blush. And I have a piece of hair. All right, so let's get into this eyeshadow palette baby oh here we go I'm trying to decide the side okay i'm gonna go in with oh let me just spray my face maybe that make me feel better uh max mac prep and prime let me just set my face spray it oh and it does feel better Ooh, child, that does from there. Just the butt of the sponge that I use. Oh, okay, sweet Teddy is about to sell or something going on. They just sent me something. And I'm just pressing in that spray. So all of this is into my skin. Keeping that skinless look. No powder cakey-ness. And that looks good. Let's get on. All right, where's my brush? I washed my brush today, my brushes this morning. All right, I'm going in with this shade here as my transition. Uh, well, maybe this, I'll go in both. That one, the one next to it, because I like cognac. Eggnog, it's almost that time. And I'm just gonna use this and just swipe it all over. I've got a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30. Big fluffy bush. All right. Ooh, that satin spray's got good. That's real good. I'm just swiping this all over my eyelid as my transition. Those look good. Mm, that looks real good. All right, put that one down for my baby. Morphe 504. So I want a terracotta. I want a deep terracotta. So I'm going to go in with this one. It has a thing. Bentley. Uh, or I'm going to go in with, I think that's Moss. I'm going with this one right here. And I'll put that in the crease. Like so. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. Ooh, that's gorgeous. All right. Mace, moss, mace, moss. Let me just go back in here. Okay. I'm going to take it over. All right. Let's go outside. Okay. 
think that looks good. Let's do this other side. Oh, that looks real good. Put it in the corner, outer corner, and drag it into the crease. Windshield circle in motion. Let's get it in there. These, this palette, to me, Morphe's, you know, people have their opinions, you're entitled. But to me, I can't say if I really came across any mm, bad palette with uh, Morphe. You know, there's some color schemes I might skip over because I'm like, damn. Mm. I don't think I can do it, or it ain't gonna work for me, or I'm just not feeling it. But there's some, I'm just like, I love it. I love the formulas, the old ones, the new ones. I love it. I love me some Morphe. If you don't already know. Uh, okay, that's looking real good. Let me take it over here, I got to go over here. Now, I'm going to go back to that fluffy brush I had and those two shades I dipped in and just slightly buff out these edges. Alright, just slightly buff them out so that looks good. Now, with so that brush uh, let's go into I got another Morphe E22 mm. hold on pause I want to go in and make it a little bit darker go back in that crease some more definition take it over here trying to figure out which I want to put what color I want to go for the outer V I'm not really trying to smoke it out but we shall see trust the process all right in this packet I'm probably using my own brush but I want to get it in this crease I'm using I don't care I know what I'm gonna do Might go into some chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to some chocolate for that outer and mix it in with the crease. Yeah, that's that's coming. Come on, son. I see you. Stop playing peekaboo with me. There we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna change brushes and get my angle. This is Morphe E62, it's got a little angle. I need a chocolate, I need something. Let me look at, this is from Old oh Boy. Let me look at Gilded Desert. Is there something? Oh boy, it is. All right, I'm gonna go into this one. It's called Daniel, or should I go into Knox? This is Knox, the second one, and this is Daniel, which is more deeper. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right, all right. And just here. 
here. That's pretty. You can't really see. I'm not trying to go for a full blown smoke. But you can see it though. I wonder if I went over there. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Get into the crease. Perfect. To the other side. I'm almost done, y'all. Let me finish this look. These eyes. And we'll be done. And the lips. This video will be done. Sorry, it's long, lengthy, but y'all know me. I've been gone for a minute. I will come back, and it's gonna be a doozy. I can hear my son, Mom. It's too long. Oh my God! I feel like something is in my eye. the colors that I have up in here under my eye put a little pop of color in there put my mascara I'm loving this Milani primer eye, uh, for, um, eyelashes and I've been loving the essence define 24 ever by your mascara this is what this one looks like it gets real good and this one is a Milani eyelash primer it's like lavender, the violet one lash primer. And it's coated with aluronic. And it comes off like a little lavender whitish. But going after that. But as I know, I said I had some deliveries. Oh, my light just went out. I've been dealing with that. And so, just keep it in with the house lab. I same day delivery came today this morning and I got the lipsticks I got garnet matte and mocha matte and I'm gonna do a quick swatch uh, uh, can't be brilliant the lighting all right this is what it looks like cute and this is garnet matte these are matte lipsticks this is from House of Labs collection or brand. So, come on, chair. All right, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it. It could be a liner or a lipstick. I'm thinking more like this one for today. This is this one, and it's a twist. So, this is Garnet, and the other one is Mocha Matte. Uh, like I said, they could be liners. They're with mango seed oil, ceramides, twist up line lips with tip, fill in with full coverage, minimal transfer. Well, I ain't wearing no mask. We'll see. And this is this one. This is mocha matte, and that's the top one here is mocha matte, and the other one is. Um, ooh, what's the other one? Garnet. So, we're going to see. So, I'm going to go with Garnet. All over the lip. It glides on good. Buttery like. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just lining my lips. Ooh. Hold up. Now, wait, wait, wait. 
wait, I think. Is this gonna place my baby? Cap on D, KBD. This looks. Baby, where you at? Hold on, let me see if it's twisting. See if I can twist. See how it's twisting. See how it twists. Okay, you hold up on the trunk here. Ah, wait a minute. Lady Gaga. We need to talk. Hold on. Because I might throw on a night mark on top and give it a vent. Baby, where you at? Baby, here you are. Cat Von D. Y'all know this is my favorite. Nas for a tool. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just put this in the center. What do y'all think? That looks good, though. color can't really see it but it looks good on me <laughs> so oh I almost forgot I need some highlights I need some highlights oh okay my brush for my spray i'm going in with old time goodie old master maybelline master chrome and molten gold this is babe so let me spray my brush let me go in and just oh lord jesus i can't believe my light went out Lately, because lately I've been like bronzing my tail off. <laughs> like I said, I've been bronzing my tail off. <laughs> All right. Should spray my face first and then went in with the highlighter. Oh well, mistakes. But that looks good though. Oh, but now I need my button. You know, I need my nose and then the bridge and the bridge of my nose and maybe here and a little there. <laughs> this is looking good. Up. I'm trying to stay away from this blush brush. Let me just give a little, little rosy. But other than that, she looks good. The foundation looks good. It's a perfect match. That concealer, the where did I put you at? The Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. This might be big. House. This is house, y'all. This is house. And if you want to know what I set the foundation, remember I was saying that it, to me it was like close to uh, Fancy's 385. Well, I set house 
440 with Fenty's 385. And look, did you know this oxidized? This, oh, why am I gonna look like I'm crooked? It is crooked. My bad, you know what? And this slightly oxidized, but you know, Fenty does. But I'm loving this look, y'all. What? Am I crooked or are y'all crooked? What the hell? So, but look at it. I always crease under my eyes, so that's no biggie. And here come the flashes, y'all. Lord Jesus. Here come the flashes. <laughs> but I'm feeling this. I'm liking it. Real soft, skin-like. Ooh. Y'all see this? You see this? The flashes. <laughs> the flashes are coming. Oh. Uh, flashes are on. I'm loving it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I need a scent of the day. What am I going to put on? Be back. I'm not even going to pause you. Watch. Look at you, girl. Look, look. Okay. All right. My sin of the day. I'm look. I'm feeling myself. I'm liking this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this look. Okay. Poison by Dior or Gucci. Guilty red. How much is left? How much have I used? Oh, have, have I used you? Yeah, I've been using you. I haven't used you lately. my pain. Ooh, child. <sighs> Which one? Ooh. Poison. You see? You see the spray. Poison. 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 Poison, poison, I'm feeling feisty, poison. <laughs> well, y'all, I apologize, you know, for the length of time and my camera, my light going out, but it's still a good video. It's still a good look. I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. So, thank you for, why does y'all look like y'all are crooked? Let me get off of here. Thank you for watching as I got ready. Go trying out the review for House Lab and Sephora's concealers combo. This is a good combo, and I set it with Fenty's 385 face powder. So I think you know, do your own judgment if you know your skin tone or what have you. Go into Sephora, don't do a blind, choose of a shade like I did, but I had my friend, I had my girl to help me out, but go get you a sample and see, but it is skin-like, it matches, it's smooth, it's lightweight, I don't feel heavy, I don't feel, even though I have powder, face powder, even I'll put some more in the concealer, I feel light, it feels very airy and light. Like it said, skin like, and it can't, and went on skin like, and it performed like skin like. So I'm loving it. So have a wonderful day. Have a blessed weekend. Um, thank you for still rocking with me and supporting me and checking up on me. Your girl's good. So you say, you know, things happen for a reason, and you gotta take care and handle business and handle take care of yourself. That's what I've been doing. That's what I'll continue to do. And I suggest you do the same. And remember, if you haven't joined the fam, join us. Go ahead. It's free. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have our list of ingredients. No, ingredient. I got to go cook dinner, so I said ingredients. I'll list the products that I use to make with this look. Oh, I've got to go far away from you.
First, y'all feel like y'all crooked now. Lord Jesus, I know this ain't the flash has got me going crazy right now. But uh, as I was saying, I'll list the products. Um, I'm going to post this look on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, what you waiting for? But if you haven't followed me on my YouTube, what you waiting on too? Come on now. 50 and fabulous. Let's go. It's almost 2023. Let's go. Let's finish strong. But back to what I'm saying. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. You never know. It can make somebody's day. And stay strong. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Until the next video, I'm your girl, the feisty body cubana. For tonight, I hope, the makeup lover of all makeups. Until then, stay strong, stay blessed, and just know I love you and thanks for following. Bye. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I did another one in the box. Get off here, girl.